Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. And if you're like most of us, me, saving money can be so hard no matter how much you make. It always seems to go out faster than it comes in. Mm -hmm. But I need you to grab a pen because our next guest has tips on practical ways to make your money stretch. So please welcome our good friend, financial expert Janai Thornton, back down to the circle. Thank you so much of for course. being here. Boom, Thank high five. you. Yes, for having yes. me. Yes. First question. Why, when girlfriends get together, we could talk about everything, but that's saving money or just <laughs> talking about money. I know we talk about the lack of money we have, but right. how can we talk about, how can we change the narrative or change that conversation, and why don't we ever talk about it? Well, I think money has just become so private, it's just taboo. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't want to put their dirty laundry out, but it's really an opportunity for us to use our circle. Okay. For us to use our friends to say, hey, how are you handling your student loans? Let's right. work through this together. How much are you paying for car insurance? Uh -huh. You know, so use your circle, use your group to really help you move on to the next level with your finances. Because if you have those types of conversations, like, oh, you're spending this much with Geico, right. or you're spending this much with Allstate, and maybe you can get a better rate. Absolutely. Okay, Definitely okay. Let's change the conversation. Okay, so what are some practical day-to-day -day things that we can do to help us save money? Okay. So let's use what we have on the table. Okay. First of all, you just think about lunch. Mm -hmm. You know, for those of us who are willing to sacrifice a little bit and bring our lunch, yeah. you can save like a hundred dollars a month. That's twelve hundred dollars a year just by bringing your lunch to work. Yes, and I've been trying to find a cute uh, yeah. uh, bag <laughs> to bring mine <laughs> in too. And these are very cute, cute right? Absolutely. But even if you don't do it every day, but it's really important if you're going to make that commitment, make sure you're communicating that with your coworkers and your friends so they know Rashawn's only going out on Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah. Don't invite me on the mother days okay I can't already go okay so that's one thing I mean obviously coffee is a big one mm -hmm. you know on average people can spend like five dollars a day on coffee that's yes. easy a lot of us can get it free at work Take advantage yeah, of that. Yeah, I do, yeah. because I go up to the, or, or I send someone right. to some coffee upstairs. Thank right. you so much for everyone supports me in that effort. So, right. yeah, that's good. Take advantage of that or make it at home. Making it at home can cost you about 20 cents a day mm -hmm. versus $5 a day. Yeah. That's a huge savings as well. Okay. Okay, now this is one of my favorite ones. So when people see their bills, they're like, oh, my God. It, it brings me down. I, <laughs> I, I get very hasty when mail right. comes to the house. Right. Okay. Yeah. Very anxious for certain people, but look at it as an opportunity. So for your car insurance, this is a perfect time to get a policy review. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's some discounts you're not taking advantage of. This is a good time to talk to your cell phone provider or your internet provider to say, hey, wait a minute, I've been paying the same amount forever, but I've been a loyal customer forever. Right. Your competitor is offering X. I know you're offering a different price. Mm -hmm. It's time to renegotiate those. Okay. For sure. All right. Yeah. So what else? And this is real money in here. Now, what? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> what, 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 what is this? What is this? But this is really about just to emphasize the point of how important savings and you, savings is. You know how good you feel yeah. when you have it. I know. It feels yeah. good. Yeah. It does. You know, if a new set of tires changes your life, mm -hmm. that means you need to be saving more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you know how it is. You want to be prepared all the time. And right. that's what savings is. I'm ready for whatever's going to come. But do we have to sacrifice? Like, talk about, you know, self-care. Right. Getting our hair and makeup done and right. massages. How can we save money there? You know, and that's huge for us because some people think it's not a necessity. For some of us, it's absolutely yeah, it a is. necessity. Absolutely. And so you really want to be creative. Um, you also want to stick within your budget, though. Mm -hmm. Know how much you really can afford, how frequently can you really go, mm -hmm. and you want to commit to that, and you want to stick with that. But also, what are the creative ways that you can actually get some other things done? I color my own hair. Uh -huh. My husband, who, who's not a barber, cuts my hair for me. Okay. So that way I can use money to go to the spa. I love the spa. Uh, you know, that's big for me. Okay. Another thing, too, that you want to take advantage of, whenever you frequent a particular place, like my spa, whenever they're running promotions, I always buy myself gift cards. Oh, nice. Absolutely, yeah. because I know I'm going to go. Uh -huh. I might as well pay less money. So, again, just be very smart about paying for the things that are really important to okay, us. Okay, okay. So what are some effective ways that we can save money? Because on average, I, I love the stats that you have here, 57% of Americans have less than $1,000 saved. Yeah, and yeah. you know, it's sad, but it's true. Yeah. And we have just really gotten into the habit of living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, has, yes. yeah, yeah, you're right. It has become a norm, but it doesn't mean that it's right. Right. And so now it's a matter of priority and just kind of shifting things around to say, hey, I'm going to save first and then I'm going to take care you're of everything else. You're treating it like a bill. You actually. Talk, talk to us about that. You absolutely have to treat your savings like a bill. So 
when you think about your mortgage, your rent, your children's tuition, mm -hmm. clothes, you're like, I'm going to take care of that. But I want you to think about your savings the exact same way. Okay. It happens at the beginning, not after everything else is done. Ah. You take care of everything else after the fact. So is there a certain percentage or whatever you can afford that day? Is, is, or, or is a, a, a smaller amount too little? Like you have to have a certain number. Well, again, it's about creating the habit. So okay. start wherever you can afford to, but you definitely want to get to that percentage. Maybe 10 to 15% of your income is the ultimate goal, uh -huh. but you can begin to work towards that. Okay. But again, you definitely want to make your savings automatic. That's really, really important. You want to separate yourself from your money. Yeah. My savings account is not at the same pace that my checking account okay. is at. Okay. Yep. Okay. I have no debit card access. So I have to get in my car and literally go there okay. if I want to. So those are some techniques that you really can use to make sure that you're able to save, um, but you have to make it automatic. Come right out of that check. You don't see it out of sight, out of mind. So it comes out of that check and goes into that, and for you in particular, goes into that separate account that you have no access to. No access to it all. So that's definitely really important oh to do goodness. that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yes. see, you make it sound so easy <laughs> every time you come here. And then I try for a day, and then it's just, you know. But, I, but I'm glad you're here. But the key is is really to decide what you're going to commit to. Okay. You don't have to do all of the things, but what things can you do? But again, you want to share with your community, your friends, your family, your coworkers what you're doing yeah. so you're not getting distracted. Okay. So I it's absolutely okay to say, hey, I am going to bring my lunch. No more coffee or yes. I'm only going to go to Starbucks twice a week. Whatever that is, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Right. But again, What's the realistic commitment and build that habit? Yeah, and I'm, yeah. Think, I'm looking at these nails and I'm thinking yeah. about every time I go to the nail salon, I'm spending 70 bucks right. easily. Oh, it's easy to do that. It really is, but yeah. I'm going to do like Trina does sometimes, right. get the little Lee press on nails when she come out on the <laughs> set. <laughs> And, and there's no shame there's in that. There's no shame, and yeah. it looks beautiful. Absolutely, but we all as women, we always, we're, you know how creative we are. Yes. We have these tips and tricks that we can use. But we got to share them. Uh, we have to share them, yes. and we have to use them consistently. And that's why you're here, because you always make it look so easy, and I hope that it looks easy for you. Yes. For more tips like these, you can follow her on Instagram at, at Janai Thornton, okay? Up next, we hear from you and what the people say. Janai, thank you so much. Absolutely. You're fabulous. We're going to save this here. money, honey. Yes. Save it. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.